Hi there, sign of Leos. This is Kim. I'm going to do a reading for you all for the next 48 hours. Um, a quick announcement is that I feel like I've been getting more messages. So they're a little bit longer, meaning the upload is a little bit longer too. So it's going to take probably every two days will be a reading, I think. That's what I'm shooting for. So anyway, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for likes, shares, comments, subscribes. If you want a private reading, I do offer those. Look in the description box, but allow at least 24 hours for them to get back to you. And thank you very much. Just shuffling the decks, getting them ready. Um, feeling Leo's energy. Feeling just okay with the energy. Like, I'm just okay. All right. So, not bad, not good. Not not really, not much yet. Maybe it's because I need to go deeper first and start getting some cards. So, let's call in Leo's angel, spirit guides, higher self, higher power to get some messages that's clear and concise as can be for Leo's and for their greater good. So this is the Angel Answers deck, or no, it's not. I, I'm sorry. It's the Angel Numbers, Angel Numbers messages. Okay, so we have three that decided to come out. One, one, one. I am creative. Angels are ready to fully support you in this endeavor, so that you can co-create with the universe a life you love. I am creative. Nice, 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 nice. Then we had 29 next. It says, I am insightful. You are highly intuitive and creative. Your mind thinks in pictures and you seem to draw information and ideas from out of the sky. A powerful drive to know the oneness of all things. I am insightful. <clears throat> okay, 12. Creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. 12. I am a visionary. All right. So, Leo, we're going to go to... Let's do the to the moon oracle next. And I want to do want to do a past, present, future for you. With the moon oracle. What messages can we get for Leo, please, from the moon oracle? Give me something good. Alright, for Leo's past. Okay. Five, the wheel. Five, the wheel. Present energy, which we're going to look these up too, by the way. What, you know what? This came out, and this makes sense because Leo, I said, you know, you were on the precipice of something great, like uh, for your last reading, and this is the present energy, and your last reading was June. So yeah, this is smack dab. This is your energy. So we'll read a little bit about that. And look at this future energy. Go Leo. Stability. The waxing earth moon. And it looks like the one that's highlighted. Wow. Okay, so let's get the book. This seems really interesting. This seems like... um quite a challenge quite it, it feels like quite a challenge so the fifth mansion the moon in the fifth mansion the fifth mansion the wheel all right so this is it says that this figure is the moon depicted as a wheel and the spokes of spokes of the wheel are helmeted heads spinning in an anti-clockwise direction okay so it says traditionally when the moon was in this location it was a good time for instruction of scholars and development of your talents and aptitudes 
So this is like a getting you ready for the party or getting you ready for the purpose type feeling like like the um the spiritual gifts uh starting to come blossom bloom bigger than you would imagine them or or they are presenting as something much more than what you might be used to even though you might have had a sense that you had you know these talent they might have peaked throughout your life like every now and then peaked out but this is like full on um really big big energy change energy huge energy i feel like it's huge energy it says if you draw this card you have the ability to make good connections and work with others to keep the wheels of a specific enterprise going it's important to the success of your endeavors to move in the right circles and to make useful contacts. This is like permission or gaining acceptance by somebody that is in a position of power. Good networking, good networking. <laughs> to sum it up, good networking. So then we have Precipice, Mansion 20. All right, this was supposed to be a time when it was good for promotion of trade, although there was some risk of loss. This is about jumping in and doing something because you feel it's gonna be something great, not because everybody else feels it's gonna be something great, and maybe not even caring if you get the approval. Sometimes you might care if you get somebody's, and it does say you have a powerful person's approval, but all in all this is mainly something you're doing on your impulse and, and yeah it might be impulsive or sudden but it's your decision whatever this is so first quarter waxing earth moon and they have stability stability so let me find first quarter waxing earth earth moon okay All right, I got it now. Um, investment. Yeah, I'm thinking of like income and investment. It says, um, this is a period of investment and in something material that you will feel later as you bear the fruit. You're in no hurry. Everything will happen in its own time. All right, so It says you'll be inclined to tend to the most delicate of projects with enormous care and attention. A time to prep, uh, sorry, a time to prepare, <laughs> prepare for the future for a project. It's ha had all of those like in a, <laughs> a row. And, anyway, patience is the key quality of this sign. So, or the sign that is one of the signs that's in this uh, first quarter earth moon says um something is requiring much hard work but but it's it's deemed to be successful and stable here doing things on your own time being successful and investing and juggling a lot of things at the same time multitasking ups and downs the fluctuations or the investments like paying off could look at it like that too all right now we're gonna get the dream totems we can put them in the middle right here for leos what do we have for leos please spirit and thank you for leo next 48 hours for leo Next 48 hours for our Leos. Just about to say something just does not want to come out for you. That might be it. Yeah, that might be it. I'm feeling drawn to pull a couple of these for this area right here. Oh, uh, well, the one that came out is a very important one. It says, Joy, lighten up, find your inner child, and it's time to have fun again. All right, Leo, so it's like, lighten up, lighten up, 
shake off some heavy energy is what it feels like. Find that joy and bliss that you know you can find because of being so insightful. Connect with everything, therefore connect with the relaxing vibrations. Choose that. All right, this is the Epiphany deck and the sacred signs and symbols for Leo. I might just get a cup lunch. Feels like all that's wanting to come out. All right. Past is in the past. Don't look back. Past is in the past. Don't look back. Ooh. Lurking in the shadows. Something lurking in the shadows that's not been given enough attention because it's still lurking in the shadows. Something about shedding light on that. And that, that might have been something in the past. This might be the light that's illuminating something for you. All right, Leos, let's get into this. Or this could have been like maybe hanging out with the wrong kind of people or doing something with other people but something you wouldn't normally do or something like that or wouldn't normally invest in if we're talking about that it's general so it can be even dating a person that you don't normally date that's maybe got a really dark side i don't know something something strange i'm gonna get to this let's get the issue here for leo it's about your aquarius it's about your star your wishes, your dreams coming true, being able to have, you have like the recipe for success here. You know how to cultivate this. Whatever this is you're wanting to grow, you know how to cultivate it. You know what you're doing. The star. And this is, you could look at this as a wish come true card too. I have heard people say that and I, I would agree with that too. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight stars. I have to do with prosperity and abundance because everybody has different opinions of what that even means. So challenge. What's the challenge? The four of cups, the challenge. What's weird is I'm feeling like the challenge is believing in yourself and really good confidence, even though that's not usually what the Four of Cups is about. Um, this is about feeling, to me, it's about feeling worthy. I don't know why that's there, but something is a challenge. Um, having you kind of withdraw within yourself Maybe in the area where shadowy areas are to do some inner child work since that was kind of hinted at too. Or it can be about be feeling kind of indifferent, bored here, apathetic, something like that. So we have Aquarius first. This is the root, the root of everything. Well, what does it feel like when you're on the defensive, right? It's, it's stressful. Your muscles can get tense. You can have stomach issues with a lot of anxiety and stuff like that. So maybe that's the uh, the issue is that this is stressful. <laughs> like you know what it takes and that is the hard work this card was talking about. All right, the past energy. Defending what you want, maybe doing something that or maybe wanting something that other people don't agree with, but I don't know, still wanting it. There's the hermit. I think that's the part of this challenge too. I really feel that. So getting to know who you are in the past energy, figuring out what this star was all about with you. And then after you've gone inside, you go on this, it's like a long, lonely path for the hermit. There's only enough road, like, for the hermit to travel on, on this trail. The trail to finding himself. So, 
So yeah, I, I mean, you could have done your research. I feel like it's a self-inquiry, you know, when you self-inquire, when you try to uh, break apart why you did certain things or why things went a certain way and then decide it from that point, since I've had something different or contrast in my life, I'm going to choose this way. It might be a Virgo in the past and it might be an Aquarius present and it might be a Scorpio present too. Scorpio with the death card. Complete transformation. Complete. Because I'm feeling like this card too. I'm getting the vibes of self-care off of that. The star. That's a little different than normal too. So this is a reading that's a little bit different. I don't know. Even though the meanings are coming across is different. So transformation because of the change in the way that your self-care is that you're taking care of yourself little changes seeing the big changes that result from the small tweaks this could be the end of something or closure too i mean transformation is not what it was before how is the near future here near future wow <laughs> <clears throat> this is very near because it's crossing the star. It does have to do with um, your Ace of Pentacles. It's the, it's not only the walkway to the path, but I feel like it's going to be like, here you go, bam, here's a taste, and then here, you know what I mean? Like, you'll get it in separate, am like separate amounts. Maybe you'll see the investment pay off like a reward and then steady increase or steady, um, yeah, increase. That's what I'm wanting to say, increase. In love, if you're thinking of this regarding love, this would be something really stable coming for you. It's a new opportunity. It still is a new uh, thing too, even with that. You are feeling like the king of wands in reverse. It makes sense because we have the death or the ending. There's something that didn't work out. And that's how I'm seeing this card as you feeling like I tried after something, something didn't work out. So it, that's its ending and this is coming now. That's how you are feeling and that is representing Leo. So the external, what's the external situation? Judgment in reverse. Not sure if you're wanting to forgive a situation or you might be the one asking for a second chance with somebody or with a situation. I feel like there's a decision that hasn't been made or something like that. I feel like that's what it's about, but it won't be for all people. It, it will be uh, for sure about um, forgiveness. Announcements. So maybe something won't be announced when it arrives. Something coming un unannounced. Okay. What is the hope and the fear? Ace of Cups in the reverse. So the reverse is that. This Ace of Cups just either one never appeared, the opportunity didn't present, or you might have missed an opportunity. And it, it might have been something that you would have really loved. And so that's why it's represented by the Ace of Cups. That's just a fear. It's irrational because it's not actually real. It's not here. All right, what's the outcome? What do we have is the outcome. Nice. Ace of Rods. Look at all those aces. Even though one's upside down, it's still, it made a presence here. Oh, nice. Healing. Maybe even go into an energy healer. You have some inspiration here. Ooh. You have inspiration to move forward fast towards something. And <clears throat> it's because of something really loving. Ace of Rods or Ace of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles. And the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Wands is a terrific mix. Because she's just really great, right? She's got her stuff together. She's emotional. She's intuitive. 
but she knows how to balance everything. So when you combine her energy with the Knight of Wands, then you have something, someone who's very emotionally intelligent and they're going after something and they're going after something with passion. So it could be Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This could be like representing healing for some people, like a energy healer or, or something like that or hypnosis. I don't know, something like that. So here's the new inspiration. This can be somebody that's coming in to give you an offer here. It could be because it could be it could be a person riding into your life. Or it could be the person in and out of your life. I feel it's more like traveling somewhere fast, getting some to a destination fast. And the reason why is because it's being fueled with love. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Leo, Aries. Um, why is, yeah, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. I was like, what did I? Okay, so let's see. Let's get, um, yeah, let's get some clarifying and just see what it wants to say. Give us more information about this judgment and the reverse energy for Leo. What's this about? Six of Cups in the reverse. There's still some family issues to solve. Things to fix within the network, within the way that you branch out. Could be, um, you know, not having a soulmate present right now. Mm. Or holding resentment against family or n like not forgiving a soulmate energy you know or like i said this soulmate energy has not come in yet or this is about not forgiving the you know you the energy of you or um what it's bouncing off of who you're bouncing off of wow wow the star the star landed on the star so that's pretty good and the outcome for the outcome <laughs> it doesn't want to come out okay queen of pentacles in the reverse knight of swords in the reverse regarding this taurus virgo or capricorn maybe the matriarch figure that doesn't have her stuff together like she does not is not doing preparing the role like she should be. I don't know what this is really about. I mean, it's it is a feminine energy, but it doesn't have to represent necessarily um, a female. But it is somebody that they're not living like you are used to living, or a situation where this isn't like how I do things. But for some reason, this person even even when being shown a better way to do something we still have stubbornness and resistance to change here something that's wanting to change All right then we have 10 of wow 10 10 completely like this so it's crossing everything crossing everything is um the 10 of wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Letting go of burdens, but solving these family issues. Either finances or um, something about the family and stability and getting along. And that is one of the challenges. It's just something that crosses it. Okay, so that's what I got for you, Leo. Anything else? Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, okay. So that we're going after something um, in regards to our own independence. Or so we we don't look at ourselves as codependent. Yeah, we want things to be equal. Like we are wanting an equal give and take. Either somebody might be taking too much for you, or you might be taking too much from the other. Or this is about the focus of independence and waiting for this big investment to pay off, which it will. So six, six, watch your thoughts. Watch your thoughts. Okay, so let's see what else was I gonna get. I was gonna get um, 
this yeah something from the spell casting deck weird there's like one i think that might be for you then 12 dragon's horde protecting the future so maybe you're doing something to protect the family or you know what i mean like maybe that's why it showed up just because of family something really significant about family and security and the foundation and healing family issues or soulmate issues and to trust trust spirit you can trust whatever something about the if there was a knight of cups you could trust it there probably is a knight of cups and it might have to do with career something to do about your career inspiration from the ace of wands and it's the same type energy so inspiration yeah she's all aglow and it's like it started from probably the crown and then goes down her chakras to, to the root or the base and then it comes out the hands like the creator energy that's inspiring new passion um maybe passion purpose like passion project, passion purpose. This is the trust card. Trust that even through the storms, you will see the light. Like there will be a hole that light shines through. And if it's actually talking about, you know, uh, being hurt, you being hurt, the uh, wounds is where the light comes in is or where the light enters as Rumi, something like that. Very close to it if it's not it. And yeah, this is about family and having stre strength and bravery to mend or ensure stability and security for family. Truth. When you look in the mirror and you notice what you're reflecting out, do you see the truth? Is that being reflected back to you? If not, why? You know? Take a look at things that are mirroring you, you, your experiences. So spirit guide here, spirit guide, trying to get your attention. And I'm bringing, I'm bringing my attention to the other the reflection here. So I'm feeling like mirroring is with this too. All right. So we're going to get some tea leaves and then we're going to wrap this up for our Leos and hope that you all have a good two days. All this in 48, 48 hours. Oh, okay, spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Heartache over what you no longer have. Spear, oh gosh. Crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Well, family wishes come true. And there's the family. With the unknowns here. Well, and except for the strength, that might be the sun. That one might be the moon. Hills, obstacles to overcome. And dogs getting together with friends. But notice it's a four. So, oh no, it's a five. So this, whatever your resistance to is probably going to change either way. Either way. Remember, you're showing up in your reading too. So powerful reading. Thank you for joining me, Leos. Um, Sorry if I rambled there for a minute. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye.